Hey guys, Coach Chris here. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own game, in your own gameplay. I haven't done this in a while. Um, today we got Namgoon versus this other Korean fighter. I actually don't know his name, but it was referred to me on Instagram and he almost beats Namgoon. Namgoon, if you guys don't know, this player in red here. Um, been to multiple Grand Prix, he's been at the top level, and I really like this guy because he's not the typical tall, lanky fighter that you normally see. He's uh, a lot shorter, as you can tell here. This is like the average height for the division, I think. And um, and he's very scrappy, and he's uh, very tenacious. He, he has a he kind of has a little bit of attitude about him, and I kind of like it. It's not like a in your I don't know how to describe it. It's not like an arrogant in your face. It's kind of like a almost I'm too cool to play this game attitude uh, and so i really like watching this guy and anyone who's close to beating namgoon or uh, can beat namgoon i'm kind of like well this guy must be pretty good because namgoon's pretty good at what he does uh, so anyway let's get into it start at the beginning we'll start you guys at the beginning here 2019 back when people were still having fights not bad also this is absurdly loud hold on So Namgoon here in red likes to uh, does a lot of follow-up kicks, kicks a lot off of the reset for uh, some easy points, and blue here you can see pressing the cut a lot to him. What I usually Nam so I don't know if he's fought this guy before. Uh, this is my second. This is actually my second and a half time watching it. Um, the first time I only watched half. I went to sleep. I watched it one other time before this just to see if I could pick out anything specific to like really hone in on for you guys. And uh, this is the next time I'm watching because I don't want to I don't want to watch it too too much and then um, uh, I I feel like I almost start seeing stuff or I force seeing stuff so I want to keep it as um, I guess as natural as possible so now I'm going here um, usually in the clinch in these situations if we back it up just a second he's very he's usually very aggressive in pushing and creating space so where he kind of took it easy with this guy here. Um, I don't know if they've fought before. Uh, they probably have, and he ha he knows this guy has an answer for it. But usually Namgoon is one of those guys who's just throwing this guy to the edge of the ring over here and trying to score uh, when he's on the inside. So that's one of the cheeky points or the off the reset kind of points I was talking about where as soon as ref goes, he tries for a point. Both these guys have great cover. Blue doing normal tall guy things. Nice try there. So that was a good attempt. That was a good headshot attempt because Namgoon has been standing his ground this whole time, or has been fighting kind of in this middle and maybe you'll slide back a little, little bit distance. Um, in this situation, I think he, he Blue obviously felt he was coming in, so he cut it a little bit short. And um, so nice try, nice try there. Namgoon no no movement, um, able to evade it, but good attempt for the head, knowing. The play style against the person. Why is this stuff not scored, man? Sometimes I just... I don't know. Like... His arm's not even there. So, maybe angle. Maybe not enough power, but... God. Maybe old gear. Who knows? Let's try there. There, that's more of the Namgoon I like to see. And he's th he's still like just trying to fight for the inside. He's not actively pushing him like normal. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Nice. Oh, so close. This is what I'm talking about with the resets. Like most people reset and they're normal and they just, okay, I'm going to bounce and get back into rhythm. Namgoon goes, I'm going to fix my gear and watch me kick you in the face right when this is done. And go. Like this is a... The kind of cheek, I call it cheeky because I don't really have another word for it, but I guess cheeky is the best word here. Uh, this kind of cheeky reset points. Um, and he was really close. Blue able to capitalize on that. It's always looking, Lemgoon's always looking for those timing. Blue here is doing typical, oh man, those jumping off balls. Um, typical tall guy things, pressing with a cut. And what's nice about Blue's cut though is. It's it's very it's strong. It's not like he's kind of float cutting it and kind of just trying to get to flick to the face. It's there has some force behind it and it's something Namgoon looks like he has to respect here because he he doesn't go in on it very very much or if at all. 
probably doesn't go on in it because Blue's trying for his head out every so often. So Blue's doing a good job here going for that long cut. So uh, Namgoon stays in place, goes for the long cut. Uh, they had Namgoon to back up, in which case Blue takes the space. Or, and the other response that a smaller guy can do is close in on it. So every now and then you'll notice Blue is doing a high level cut just in case, like high level as a shoulder level cut, just in case Red slides in, he can... Um, jab that right into Namgoon's face. So it's Blue's doing a good job keeping Namgoon on his toes, mixing the low cuts in with the um, with the high cut, and then flicking to every now and then to the body too. So Namgoon can't just sit there with a um, and like strong arm it. Probably gonna see more cuts out of Blue. Oh, okay, Namgoon first. Keep him honest. Uh, not so much of bad. So Blue hasn't thrown. The reason Namgoon's spinning is because Blue has shown a lot of front leg, as is typical of front leg fighters. And the spin there, uh, if Blue decided to commit and said, uh, I think Namgoon didn't successfully bait out the front leg. But that's why he attempts to spin, because a lot of the front leg out of Blue would have been a good trap. Down 2-0. Nice try for the Pajagi. Yeah, I was, as a smaller guy, okay, so Giddy scored here, but I was going to say, as a smaller guy, this is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a good thing to watch. So, one of the things I like here, um, I didn't notice this the first time, but Namgoon's reset uh, blitz, or kind of kick off the blitz here, is nice because, boom, out, he slides back. He's going to change angle. He's going to change angle this way. And as Blue is just getting settled, that's when he's going to, that's when Namgoon's going. Blue's settled, and then he's going. Or actually, in this case, it was even better because Blue is actually switching his legs. Um, switching his legs right here. And that's when Namgoon's going because he knows Blue can't really counter too successfully while his legs aren't in a good fighting stance. So good on Namgoon here. It's a. So a smaller guy, I usually coach in terms of the smaller guy because this taller guy is like, you just cut him, dude. Just cut and poke him with your front leg until he dies. Uh, for a smaller guy, you got to look for the small little key timings like this where the front leg is down, where the front leg isn't at full power or full speed. So um, Namgoon, once again, Namgoon back, backs up here, changes the angle, and then um, as Blue is moving forward, so stepping forward, he's blitzing because that's a time where Blue is probably not going to have that front leg to counter. Good follow up on the uh, what's it called on the second second kick there. Oh, it's so rough. That's the name good I'm used to seeing. I don't know. Like both both these guys have really really great covers. Um, there's a lot of kicks being thrown. Neither of them are giving up points. Really good covers. Uh, I'm used to seeing this name good like tear people apart in the clinch. Nice try by Blue there. Knows Namgoon's going in. Heads open. Namgoon with the slide back. I'm not sure why he threw that, actually. Oh, no. I forgot he even threw that in this match. Um, so, uh, Blue's, Blue is throwing the spins in because Red's coming a lot of a lot of times off the back leg uh, on, on a lot of his blitzes. Not every time, but often enough to where... Blue feels like he can time it, and he obviously did. That was a great lead time back kick. So this kind of lets us know, or like Blue knows he has a timing. Namgoon kind of sends a message like, I got to change and add in more things into my offensive repertoire because if you get timed with a back kick, that means that the defense has your number. They know exactly what kick you're throwing at the exact right timing. So good job by Blue for read that. Namgoon doing Namgoon things, forcing out. Nice strong cut. And a little bit more. So, if you notice, dude, I'm going to switch legs before going. Um, bef the back kick was thrown when Namgoon threw his right leg from back from the back position, I believe, and then that's when the spin happened. Namgoon not not really wants to doesn't really want to commit. He wants to change the offense and give a little bit different look because he obviously just got back kicked. So this is them non-committal. Uh, adjusting and so you can see blue here is also not committing to the attack because he knows damn goon's thinking i can't use that attack so he knows damn goon's thinking of something else what's he sitting on that's what 
this like non-committal distance kind of attacks they're doing. It's kind of throwing out like, what's the new game plan you're kind of sitting on here so I don't get kicked in the face really hard? Okay. And then if he's at the edge of the ring, I like how Blue's trying to capitalize by kicking a lot. Nam Green has great covers and or the hook. Nice try with that wrap. Good try with that wrap. Um, at the edge of the ring, Blue a lot of kicking. That's great. Great, great. Just Nam Green's good at covers. <laughs> Game is kind of like reset now. Not really sure why that was thrown. Maybe to counter the front leg and clinch in midair. I'm good with a lot of head movement. Let's nice try. That the this double or bullet, however you want to phrase it, is a good idea because Namgoon has it's you it's lately it's been a one for one counter, it seems like in the last few exchanges, or at least when things died down, he's expecting a one for one, maybe just Namgoon lift. If Nangun had just lifted here, or um, with his front leg for the clash, I, I think Blue is looking for the clash with the front leg, and then that's why the second one's coming up. Nangun threw a pod shaggy, which kind of thwarted the whole plan, but that was a good idea about Blue, thinking, this guy just says front leg. One of the best things for that is um, front leg double or front leg bullet. Nice try there, nice try. Honest as a wind, winding down, they're gonna. Most Koreans try and look for uh, either a sneaky point or the adjustment they might do in the third round. And time. Guess none of that. Third round. Namgoon's still down by one. Try. So I think um, it doesn't seem like the style is changing that much. Nam Green being as experienced as he is, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just thinking, well, this happens in most matches, and I'm just going to keep poking around the way I normally do. Um, as for Blue, it looks like he's being a lot more patient. He's letting Nam Green throw a little bit more without uh, countering right at distance like he was in the first round. He's also trying for a lot more fast kick instead of the cut. Nice pad chuggy. That's more of the Namgun I'm used to seeing. This force you to stay there while I kick you a bunch of times. Um, so that was that was close. But it looks like Blue's using more of a fast kick uh, skip, not like the lead like snake kick, but like a legit fast kick instead of the uh, cut. Good try. That was a good try. That was a good try. Man, I'm not sure if Blue has a kick. If they they said, okay, so he's blocking like this, so extend your kick a little bit more or point your toes more or round your toes more so it wraps around the Hogu because that's the way he's blocking. I don't know if they made that call, but it seems like it's a lot more accurate Or and or Namgun is just tired and his cover isn't as good. Um, but with the large quantity of kicks being thrown in the match, I wouldn't be surprised if they throw them kind of just normally and they assume they're just playing the numbers game where if I throw a lot of kicks and it's close to his Hogu, eventually some of them are going to hit the Hogu and score. Uh, so uh, I think good on both sides to throw, keep throwing a flurry of kicks, especially while in distance. It's just that Blues is paying off a lot more here, obviously. There's back to the cut. Nice. I don't know if he's going to do it a third time. That's kind of dangerous. Okay. So I was going to say, good. Um, now, so after you, at, at, when you reach a certain point, doing an attack three times, um, and you're fighting someone who's good, that's that's asking to get countered really hard. Um, so this is a good first cut. So now we can knock Namgoon back. Try to fight in place. Good second cut here. Same idea. Um, in the third one, Nam, if if he were to do, it was he, he was pretty blue was pretty close here, which is why I'm stopping this 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 tape here. On the third one, Namgun can either retreat back and give a lot of space, which kind of looks bad for the refs, and you risk uh, getting a gumjang, or he can come in to counter this longer leg cut and try and cut it halfway. And um, blue's response to someone trying to cut his kick halfway is to axe kick, which is a great response, and he was pretty close here. Like. Uh, 
man, that was a good idea on both sides. Uh, Namgoon kind of forced into that situation a little bit. I mean, he could have, you know, held him in place with a check or something. Um, but after you get knocked back twice, you don't want them to use that because it doesn't feel good. And, um, you, yeah, you definitely don't want to just let him keep poking at you. So the options are to slide out of the way and kind of give him more ring space, which is you already did twice already. So not good, uh, to angle or motion in place. Um, which case that might be a third scenario. If he did have the gut to throw it at you a third time with like a lot of disrespect or the, the third option, um, if they're going to do it a third time is to come in blue have said, okay, this guy's probably going to come in, try for the ax kick. Really good idea here. And, um, I kind of harp on this a lot, but it's it's the two previous attacks that built up into this almost that, cul that almost culminated into this head kick. So, as you're sparring, um, a lot of these points here are one for one, and they're not necessarily set up. But as as the fight's ebbing and flowing, and they're like they're trying to create enforced patterns on their opponents, these little small opportunities are coming where the points are coming out, and that's how the points are coming. So, trying as you guys watch your own fights, or you're watching higher level people, I mean higher than I've ever fought, fight. Look for um, when they score a point, look for the two or three plays before that to see if uh, there was some kind of setup that they did. Like, did they hit to the body twice before they went to that same side for the head? Or did they get them to back up and try and guess that they're going to come in after, like, this situation? Um, that's what I, I want my channel to really harp is, like, look for the setups for these techniques. Because as Taekwondo had started, I'm going to let this play in the background here. Um, but as Taekwondo had changed into the uh, Hogus, he's going to fall over into the electronic hogus, new weapons were made and all these new weapons kind of dictate how the fights are going to be fought. But once everyone has, like it's got time when I was getting to a point where all the weapons are solidified now, like everyone has scorpion kicks. Everyone has the inside monkey kick. Everyone has this wrap around behind the head crescent kick. And now that everyone knows each other's weapons and everyone has the same weapons or theoretically kind of has the same weapons, depending on height, whatever. Um, now strategies are starting to evolve. And so that's where I want to get you guys is because there's a lot of channels out there that already do technique. I want to be here to help some of you guys see how these people are setting up points. Anyway, that long rant was to harp on when you guys are watching international level fights, look for the two to three plays before that or what they're doing the whole round before that. That's the name Goodnight I want to see. Nice try. Um, obviously, he's coming in, so he tried for the head kick. Namgoon trying to get points and for he's. I think Namgoon because he's so far behind, he's trying to. Um, he's willing to risk the inside jumping up ball for the force out with the push. Um, but as I was saying, just try and look for those two or three plays or the round before. Like, did they do anything to set up this point earlier in the match? Also, I don't know. So, small commentary. Uh, I don't know how it's in Korea. If you get a force out, make the ref push you backwards to give your opponent as little space as possible because now they're back in the middle, so Namgoon would technically have to do like one, two, three, four more meters of work to get him out of the ring again versus if you make the ref push you back and you only give him two, then you have to do only two meters of work to get him out again versus the four. Um, I'm also not Namgoon to go, so uh, I don't fight in Korea, and I'm not fighting this guy, so... Uh, if you're fighting someone else, then have the ref push you back, especially if you force someone out. Back to the poke game because that's what's working. So as blue, as blue, um, what's been scoring here? Kind of stuff on the engage, and a lot of the points have been um, getting to go. Kind of what uh, Lee Dae Hoon did to Sinden after. Um, Sinden beat him once is he kind of let Sinden push in the clinch and then he'd score points going backwards for blue a lot of his points came up as Namgoon was coming in so it's a good idea to hit with a hard cut hit with a hard cut force him in and then try and get points on the fade um, as Namgoon is coming towards you with his body weight that's Namgoon I want to see is the, the push shove scrappy kick you in a clinch nice try If I were Namgoon, though, I would, I would suggest maybe changing levels. He does it every now and then, but a lot of his kicks are it's like body-body, uh, change target to the body. Uh, but it may also be like maybe he's not confident or he feels like this guy can read the head kick. Uh, that would be my only edit on Namgoon's game. Is uh, I like the scrappiness. I like the tick for tag points. Um, but if you can flick some of those, like a fake body face something, I think that may keep Blue... Let's. I feel like they'll keep Blue a little bit more on his toes. But I'm hesitant to... like comment too much on the game because there's a lot of 
there's a lot of exchanges going on and I don't know the history of these two. And, um, but yeah, that, that'd be my only suggestion is change, change, not only targets, but also change levels a lot too, as you're, as you're poking at people, unless you're setting someone up, obviously then change the level when appropriate. The strong poke, man. He's trying to get nice try with the head kick. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe this is where it pauses for five ever. Oh. Okay. So he keeps the points. Blue loses. Blue doesn't get the Kyungo. Nice poke. Nice try. Trying to keep Namgoon away there. Namgoon wants the inside here. Third round, 20 seconds to new. Namgoon wants the inside. He wants to sit those tick for tack points in the follow-ups. Um, he just needs to watch his face because Blue is great at mixing those face kicks in there. And you're like, yeah, that's not effective. I think against anyone else except for Namgoon, who's used to seeing face kicks like that, those are pretty effective. Forcing on the inside, looking for the point, trying for the point. So, I mean, like, I'm, like it's just like, oh, it looks so easy. You just dodge, you just lean your head back. That's actually super hard to do in the match and to read and to avoid. Um, so, Namjoon's doing a good, good job here, I think. Um, he's just trying to go, he's trying to, well, force out, obviously, but try and get those little tick for tech points on the inside here. That's the Namjoon I'm used to seeing. Is like this guy to force you out 24-7. Oh, no. No. It's 11 to 7. Oh, for the force out. Okay, so 8 to 11. It's still, still, it's getting a little bit closer within reach. And then this is the part of the video that's going to kill you guys. Watch. I'm just going to let it play. Okay, video replay. Da -da -da. And Namgood's tied. I don't know. I don't know who cut this video and said, this is a great idea. Let's just leave the game-winning play off of here. But he's on the floor. It was, I'm I'm guessing, I'm guessing Namgoon, able to close the distance, is in the clinch game, holds him, and gets his foot around the side and puts it on his head. Because uh, he's on the floor facing forward, and he's not out, which means it wasn't a fading out forced out with a head kick. It was a, you're standing in place here and Namgoon has a good right leg out in. So I don't know what happened. Oh, wait, wait, does he win? Man, that is so sad. Those are some good hits too. I don't know. It's Taekwondo sometimes, man. Look at this. I, I, I know about that. That was kind of some leg checkiness. Um, but given the franticness of the situation, maybe he was actually trying to kick. I'm pretty sure Namgoon was probably trying to kick. Uh, but as a ref, you could have easily called that as a leg check. Let's keep him away. Oh, dude, this goes right underneath. How does this... Oh. Look at this. There wasn't even arm there. He's flush. So anyway, guys, um, I, uh, Namgoon takes takes this one, and uh, good good job both sides. I really, really, I guess as a recap, I really, really like how Blue kept the the game plan of the poke, the strong poke, which is you know expected of taller players. But after he kind of realizes that he's uh, there were a little bit more follow ups and more in place fighting, I think near the beginning of the match and as the match fades I think he's looking for more of those fade points where he's scoring so he's slightly tilting this game toward where he can score more points uh, Namgoon I, I don't know if maybe he was tired or this is the final but that push shoviness that uh, we saw near the end of round 2 and into round 3 is kind of more of the Namgoon I'm used to seeing and so maybe he was conserving it up until then um, could be pretty tired not sure but I like that Namgoon is um uh, the, he has those cheeky points. He knows when to follow up, and he's pretty relentless on the inside. A lot of people will like get past the uh, get past a lot of shorter players. I see, especially um, like lo locally, meaning nationals, uh, they'll they'll get through the uh, 
cut and then throw one kick like it's the accomplishment. Like that's, oh look, I got past the cut. It's like, yeah, in a drill, that's the goal is to get past the cut. But the ultimate goal of getting past the cut is to score points. If you get past the cut, but you never score, it doesn't matter. And so um, Namgoon here, after he gets past the cut, there's usually two or three kicks on the inside. He's not afraid to scrap it out. And um, his head evasiveness is like... He's just kicking at you and then just whoop, like that's a head kick coming. A lot of people will get hit with that. So good on Namgoon. If you're not Namgoon and you're trying to do that, keep your hands up. And after you're done kicking, make sure you close the distance or get get out of there. Don't stand in the taller guy's range to try and exchange for that long if you're not the one trying to score. Um, so overall, yeah, Namgoon, good, good little cheeky style there. Good job on his blitzes and follow-ups. Uh, I wish I could tell you how he won, but I don't know because it clipped the exact moment that he takes victory here. Uh, so that would have been cool to see. But overall, if you're also a taller guy watching this, um, good things to take away are try and, especially from this blue player, he does an excellent job here against one of the top guys in the world, is he forces them back, forces them back, realizes he gets points on the way in, and that as a... Sp- if you're fighting someone small, they're eventually going to have to blitz. Like They're going to have to blitz you eventually to get points. They're not just going to stand around at the edge of the ring and get cut kicked out forever. So you're going to want to time in and mix in those head kicks. So as you get better with your cut, better with your long cut especially, learn to flick in those little short head kicks to keep the shorter guys honest. And um, and it's going to be really, really essential for your game because if you're if you're a shorter guy and the guy you're fighting has a really, really wicked fast short axe kick and has a strong cut, dude, it's kind of it's rough. Um, you're gonna have to fight that with uh, the only thing I'd be I'd feel safe doing is maybe the Iranian blitz cut where you just you're not even expecting to hit them. You just you just throw you just throw that bent leg cut up into them to make sure it's jammed and then try and fight after that. Uh, that would be my only solution. But even that, like if the other guy has a really good out- axe kick or curtails it, so where instead of his lifting here, they pull it back and then go on top, it's really rough. But overall, great fight from this. I wish I had a little bit more strategy to break down for you guys. But there's a lot of tick for tack here, um, a lot of little scrimmages, skirmishes, and a lot of blocking, great blocking on both sides. Um, but overall, great fight. And yeah, like I said, I could, I wish I could tell you how damn good won this thing, but. It is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for being all patient with me. Uh, I'm trying to get videos out when I can. It's, it's kind of hard with all the stuff I'm trying to juggle right now. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.